Hey everybody, Dr. Seth here. Just wanted to continue to give you some more content uh, along the lines of the topic that we have going on this month in the office for our Body Signals Advanced Workshop, which is this next Wednesday, the 30th at 6.15. Uh, we're doing it on neck pain. And with neck pain, we're dealing a lot with forward head posture. So today, I just wanted to go over a standing workstation. So as many of you uh, work throughout your day, you're hammering it away at your computers, you've got the laptops, you're either at a cafe or your home or you're at the office, you've got multiple different screens going on, but lots of sitting. As we know, sitting can create a lot of tension and pressure on your spine, on your neck, and it can create a tremendous amount of discomfort. So this right here is a standing workstation. Uh, these standing workstations are relatively inexpensive. Uh, this one right here I got for Casey. Dr. Will has one over there as well. Uh, they're just about $220. Um, and it will save you so much in aggravation with pain, tension, muscle spasm. Moving around throughout the day um, just makes such a huge difference. So you take a look at this. The idea is you don't want to sit all day. You don't want to stand all day. You want to have variable movement. So when taking a look at this, there is a clip on the side over here and you just push up on the clip and you just very gently push down. Now you can sit down at this workstation um, and you can get comfortable sitting for a while when you have a little bit more focused work, but then you can pull on the trigger, bring it back up. And the idea is to be variable throughout the day. So you want to keep moving around. Um, I hope that this helps. Just Ladies and gentlemen, just Google it. There's so many of them. I've had patients put a cardboard box on their desk and put laptops on top of their cardboard box and say that it makes a huge difference. So it doesn't have to be expensive. Just get creative. The worst thing that you can do for your spine is to sit all day at a computer or to sit all day at a desk. So think about a standing workstation. Make sure that it's variable. Get up a little bit. And you know, if you don't if you don't have a standing workstation, that's okay. Set a timer. Um, I'm I'm uh, doing this video on my iPhone right now. Everybody's got a phone attached to their hip. Take the phone out, put a 20 minute timer on there. And after the timer goes off, get up, walk around for you know just a minute or two, go get a drink of water, and then come and sit down. That pattern interruption is really where it's at. We just need to keep moving. We can't sit for super long periods of time. And you know that to be said, we could say that for traveling as well. So if you're in the car, if you're in outside sales or you're driving around and you've got long road trips going on, just make stops. You know, I had another patient last night just to, hey, you know, what do you what do you suggest when I'm doing a road trip? I'm doing four hours. Well, I suggest getting out of the car every hour and a half or so, walking around, doing some stretches, getting a drink of water. Um, it's well worth it. You know, the extra half hour that it's gonna, it's not even a half hour, but you know, the extra 15, 20 minutes that it's gonna take you is well worth it to get out the car, stretch a little bit. Um, I know that we're all always in a big hurry these days, but slow it down a little bit, take a little bit of extra time, it'll be well worth it. All right, hope for the, hopefully that this information helps you, and we hope that you can join us for our Body Signals Workshop. Again, it's next Wednesday, a week from today, on the 30th at 6.15 in the office. We're gonna be unpacking neck pain, uh, how to avoid neck pain, different types of tools and techniques like this. Um, once you do have neck pain, what can you do about it? How can we help you here in the office with it? But what can you do on yourself? Different types of exercises, stretches, ergonomic tools. Uh, it's open to people outside the office as well. So if you know of anybody that's suffering, friends, coworkers, family, um, invite them to the workshop. Um, if you invite them to the workshop, you can get another raffle ticket to win the Yeti cooler, which is coming up here. Lots of people have been jumping in on the Yeti cooler. Everybody loves it. So um, hopefully we see you then. Hopefully this is helpful. Feel free to leave any comments uh, at the bottom and we look forward to seeing you soon.